Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you should get the latest posts, tips, and tricks, and everything regarding Excel dashboards. Uh, today I want to show you a cool trick that I saw. I think it was from Mike Alexander, but I'm not sure uh, where I saw it. But it was a way to protect your Excel dashboards from being uh, the charts especially being corrupted by somebody deleting rows or columns. So as you can see here I've got uh, five products January through December over here in this chart and it's a stacked column chart. Now watch what happens when I come over and I delete column for the pr second product. So product two. I'm just going to right click on that and hit my delete key. Look at that. This error message shows up formula in this worksheet contains one or more invalid references. That's because I just deleted that column of data that relates to the chart. Verify that your formulas contain a valid path, workbook, range name, or cell references. So cell references for this chart, you can see right there in the legend, says pound reference. It's going to cause us a problem every time we recalculate the sheet. It's not the best scenario. So if you've created a dashboard where you have charts and someone comes in and accidentally or on purpose delete some columns or rows can cause you this problem and you'll have to go recreate all of your dashboard charts uh, and tables. So one way around this, at least from having them uh, without protecting the sheet, but to have them uh, protect your charts and graphs from at least deleting columns or rows is to use what's called an array formula. Let's go take a look at what an array formula is. So right here you see I have sales. 22, 8, and 65, and I have a margin of 84, 5, and 99, just some random numbers. Over here in my sales, if you look at this function here, it says equals C colon C2 colon C4 times D2 colon D4, and it's got these wild little curly brackets. When I click in it though, you'll see the curly brackets are gone. If I hit escape, you can see once again those curly brackets in the formula bar are there. So what this is doing, this is an array formula, and you do this by hitting Control shift enter And uh, it will create the array for you. So what it's going to do is it's going to multiply C2 times D2, C3 times D3, and C4 times D4, and gives me the ultimate amount over here, which is 1848. So that's what an array formula is. So let's go ahead and edit this formula and just hit Enter. Notice it just says 200. It's not giving us the exact right amount that we wanted. Uh, and you notice my curly brackets are gone. But if I edit this formula and do Control Shift Enter, that's how you get an array formula. And Excel already adds in those curly brackets. So it's with Control Shift Enter. You're not actually adding them yourself. So let's go back to our chart here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to use the other functions of an array formula in that you cannot change an array formula or any part of an array formula to actually protect these columns and these rows from being deleted or inserted. How you want to do this is you want to come over and highlight a range. And so you see I've highlighted A1 through A15. I'm going to type in this real simple formula, which is actually just a constant, an array constant, equals 1. Then I'm going to hold my Control key down, my Shift key down, and I'm going to press the Enter key. Now, that Control Shift 1 is going to give us an array constant of 1. And you'll notice it's filled it in for every single one of these cells are exactly the same. It's got those curly braces, or curly brackets. And I just want to follow up and do this on all of my cells. So equals uh, 2, Control, oops, I didn't highlight the range far enough, so let's do that again. To there equals 2, Control Shift Enter. We now have an array formula of equals 2 there. We're going to do the same for over here, equals 3, Control Shift Enter. I'm doing different numbers here so I can see where the array formula breaks and ends. Equals 4, Control Shift Enter. Now, if I want to come in here and try and delete column D, I'm going to right click on it, hit my delete key, you'll notice you'll get this error right here. You cannot change part of an array. Uh, so I am trying to insert something in between the array of 2 or the array of 4, and it will not let me do it. Uh, let's try and insert. So that was delete. Let's try and insert. You're going to get that same error. You cannot change any part of an array. Uh, so same thing would happen on the rows. Let's delete row 6. Going to get that same error. And if we inserted it, we would receive the same error. 
So what that does is that protects our chart. So see, I can't delete a row or column, so my chart is not going to have a reference error. Product 2 is not going to go away because I cannot delete the entire column. I can still go in here and delete some data, uh, but that is uh, going to be okay because I can just copy and paste this data back in there. Uh, my chart references are still the same. Now, you probably don't want all these ones and twos and everything uh, mucking up your chart area. So what I would recommend doing is let's change the format of this. I would probably put a border around it, like say yellow, and then I would make the font color equal to that same yellow. Now, even though that array formula you can see in the formula bar is still here, it's hidden from everyone's view and they don't understand uh, what you've done. So we're just going to go ahead and repeat those steps by clicking on our fill and our font color. I'm just going to highlight all around it. Just kind of put this yellow in there. This tells people that this is my chart area. Don't mess with it. And if they try to do anything like delete it uh, or insert, they will get you cannot change any part of an array. Saves your, your dashboard charts from being corrupt with reference errors. Uh, hopefully you found this cool little tip or trick so that you don't have to actually protect your worksheet, hand out a password, uh, and you can also protect your formatting on that as well. Hopefully you found this Excel dashboard tip uh, very useful. Please make sure you sign up for my YouTube channel at exceldashboardtemplates.com uh, and also sign up for my blog on the same website so that you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.